Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and I want to show you an exercise that you can do for distance control in putting. I'm doing it inside, but you can do this drill outside at your putting green. I have this little mat that I got on Amazon, and I love this mat because of a couple of reasons. First of all, it has the distances marked already on the mat. So there's a two footer, four footer, six footer, eight footer, so you don't have to guess how far you are. So this drill involves controlling your distance. So you have to learn how far back and through that you need to swing the putter for that certain distance. So you have to program your mind. So you stand here at two feet and you just do practice swings, trying to figure out how far back and through for your two footer. Then you're gonna come over here to your four footer. Obviously it's a longer putt. So now you're going to have to figure out how much longer to go back and through to get the ball to go four feet, six feet, eight feet. And at first this might seem very mechanical, but you have to learn how far back and through for that distance before it can be feel. If you're over a putt and you don't know how far, you're just guessing at how hard to hit the ball. So to figure out your distance, you're just going to have to stand here and experiment with your stroke. So when you're hitting a two footer, obviously the stroke is going to be much shorter than four footer. You have to create a little bit longer stroke, accelerate a little bit more six footer. So the length of the stroke has to be different for every distance. Where I see people go wrong is that they usually have the same length putting stroke for every distance and what they do to control the distance is either decelerate or try to hit it harder. So you have to change the length of your stroke for the length of each putt. The other thing I love about this little putting mat is you can see at the end here, it's elevated. So this elevation is to train you to accelerate your putter head towards the hole. If it was flat, it would be easier to decelerate. So this is designed for you to try to accelerate your putter head so that you make sure that ball rolls end over end. Where people go wrong, especially with those short putts, is that they tend to decel, then it doesn't get up the hill. So think about it, if you were on a grainy grass, that grain would take the ball and it would peel off. Or on a really sloping lie, that ball would go offline more often than not. So this little elevation here at the end is a great tool to help train you to try to hit those putts firm. So the other thing I like about this putting mat is it has a track right here. So that track is just going to help you with some visuals. It's going to help you keep that putter head on line straight back and straight through. It'll show you if you're cutting across it or going inside and out. Also, it gives you a nice visual to see the ball roll end over end. And this is for a straight putt. So you can do this ladder putting drill at your golf course where you have your putting green, you can just put a tee at two, four, six, eight feet, and then go back and forth and practice those distances. Or you can do it on this putting mat and do it at home. If you're interested in the putting mat, email me at info at cardiogolf.com and I'll send you the link.